Hi, this is Rob Tullis from DamonTown.com. My wife and I also run a website called expatexperiment.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple viator widget to either insert in your text, the bottom of your post, or in your sidebar. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I have many travel bloggers and like I said earlier, expatexperiment.com uh, is our site and we generally use two different affiliates to put in uh, to put in tours into our posts. We either use Get Your Guide or Viator. Now, Get Your Guide is great. Their widgets are wonderful. They look great. They look great on, their, on your site. Problem is, is Get Your Guide's a little younger than Viator and they just don't have as many tours and they don't have as many tours in as many places. So with Viator, you have a much larger selection to choose from, but the problem is the Viator widget doesn't look very good. So. I found uh, a little simple code just to create a quick little widget to make it look much better. And I'll give you an example. Here's our website, one that I had put in a Viator widget. And you can see at the bottom here, it just isn't doing much for me. Picture's really small, um, black boxes all the way around. It just doesn't go with the rest of the website. So what I'm going to show you how to do is to change it into what this here. Much bigger pictures, still got a link, goes right to uh, share a sale, which is what the Viator uh, affiliate program is run for, and it looks a lot better on your site. Got rid of the black boxes, pictures are bigger. Images, bigger images are much better than smaller images. So let's get right to it. I've got a couple of things here. I'm going to put all of the links and all of the website addresses and the code in the description below. Uh, so don't worry about copying anything down. You can just go to the description and copy what you need from there. Okay, that's not the one. There we go. So here's the code. Very simple. The first section of the code is the destination URL. So you're going to basically go get your share a sale affiliate link, put that in here. Target equal blank means that it will open in a new window. And of course, because it is an affiliate link, you need to have a no follow. Now, you can take the image directly from Viator or you can use an image of your own. I tend to just use Viator's images because it is their tours. And then you just put in your title text link uh, for whatever you want to say about the tour. Again, I just generally use the description in Viator or in uh, ShareSale rather. So let's get to it and we'll show you how this is done. So from here, just go to get your links. And we're going to be creating a custom link. Now, usually you would go over here and make a page, a product showcase, and that's what gets you that ugly widget uh, that was on the first page. So here you go to custom, create a custom link. Now, I've already done a search in Viator and found a couple of uh, tours that go for, for uh, glamping in Dinosaur Provincial Park. So here's one here, Canadian Badlands Day Trip from Calgary. Let's see if we can add that one. So what you need to do is just get the URL for that tour. Copy that, go back over to share a sale and create your custom link. Now you can use this link here if you like. I prefer to use a short link, so I'm just gonna grab the short link. Now you click and highlight and just copy that link. Now go back to the code. You can copy this code from the bottom in the description. Just put it in the notepad on your computer and just insert that code right in there. Next, so you leave the target blank, opens in a new page, you leave the no follow. Next you need is the image URL. So this image here, I like this image, looks good. Just right click on that and you can copy image address. So copy that, oops. Go back to your code and insert the image URL in between the quotes. Same with the, uh, with the, affiliate link. You want to put them in between the quotes. Make sure you leave the quotes there. And then the text title. Now for the text title again, I generally just use the title of the tour itself. So highlight it, right click, copy, go back to your code and just insert that right in the text title. Okay, now if you want to make sure this code works before you actually put it on your website or in a widget, just copy the entire code and you can go to this website here and it will exact it'll show you exactly what it'll look like on your site. So you can just get rid of this first part and just insert the code 
that you've copied right here. Click Run. There you go. Now, we have this aligned left. I prefer to have most of my um, links underneath images aligned in the center. So if you want to change that, you just go up here and you can change the code right in here and type in center. Click Run again and you can see it just moves it right over. All right, let's do one more. We ran through that one pretty quick, so we'll do one more. So let's do Calgary to Dinosaur Provincial Park. So that's another tour that's in my home province of Alberta. And this is where we did our glamping. So copy the URL, go back to share a sale. And create a new link. There we go. Copy and paste into the link generator. Create custom link. Again, I like to get the short link. Highlight it and copy it. Now with this one, I'm going to show you that you can, if you're putting it in the bottom of your post, my theme automatically makes the image the size that I, it needs to fit in the box. Some themes don't. So sometimes you need to put in um, a width and a height of the image that you're putting in. So we'll show you how to do that one here. So on the bottom part of the code, you can see I've got width of 350 and a height of 250, which is pretty standard sidebar, or 300 by 250 is a standard sidebar as well. Uh, you'll just have to find out whichever works best for your site. So put the image you, or the destination URL right here. Go back to the Viator page, right click and copy image address. Go back to the code, put that image address right where it says image URL. and the title of the, the tour. Drop that in right where it says text title link. And we're just gonna leave width 350 and height 250 for now just so you can see what it looks like on the, the testing page. So again, copy the entire code, go to here, go to this website, Add your code. This is the code with the width and the height. And let's see what the difference. And there you go. Small. Again, this is left justified. It doesn't look bad on a smaller image. But if you wanted to make it centered, you just would go up here right after the div align equals center. And that will be centered at the bottom. Now, another thing, if you want to make sure that your no follows are working, I have a little extension here that I use. So you can go up to your the three three little dots at the top of the Chrome browser, go to more tools and extensions. There's a little, there's an extension called no follow simple, and it'll show you no follow links on your website or any website that you're going to. So if you just turn this on and then go back here to reload this image here, I'm going to reload my page. And what it does is it puts a red box around all nofollow links on a website. <clears throat> the joys of internet in Mexico. A little slow today. So as you can see, that reply is a nofollow. It's loading in. And you can go back here and you can see that the, the links that I've put here for Viator, it's got this red box around it now. So it tells me that that's a nofollow link. So that's a little tip for you as well. So hope that made it uh, easy for you to change the uh, widgets for Viator and give you a little bit more options as, to far, as far as which tours you can use and what you can put on your site and make it look, in my opinion, much better than the, the ones that are standard with ShareSale. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video or if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe below. I'm going to start doing a lot more of these as I find that uh, they're very helpful for people to just do little fixes in and on their website. Thanks very much.